Kirk Duckwell here with your Market Monday real estate stats for the Twin Cities area. All I can say is, wow, look at those interest rates. Um, I had predicted that they would stay relatively stable and maybe go up uh, slightly over the summer. That's what the forecasts were showing as well. Did not expect to see them drop off again to even lower historic lows. So let's dive into the data a little bit. So the showing activity uh, percentage and change has started to drop off. Um, that's really common for this time of year. I don't think it has anything to do with pandemic or riots. Uh, when we look at the showings per week per listing, we can see those drop offs the same last year as we're seeing this year. The positive news is that it's at a 19 percent faster rate per listing. This is what's driving those sale prices, as mentioned in past videos, up by 8.9%. Um, and it's that inventory, that historically low inventory. Uh, another week of that being down, we can see 17.1%. Although the total homes coming onto the market are picking up, the pending sales have been two. So... Hopefully, as the summer goes on, we'll see more homes come on the market, and easing that pressure maybe on some buyers. For sellers out there, still an amazing time to uh, have your home on the market if you're comfortable with that. I mentioned those interest rates uh, falling even lower. 3.15 is where they uh, are at for that kind of par rate. Uh, forecasts are still showing that they're going to remain stable. Actually, the forecasts haven't even caught up to the new lower rates yet. I expect as we go through the summer, I, you know, with the interest rates, um, I'd love if they stay at this pace. That'll keep the market moving strong. Uh, more homes should be coming on to the market as more people are getting uh, comfortable with uh, getting their homes out there right now. As always, take care, be safe, and have a great week.